So let's talk about the primary hip flexors, the iliopsoas muscle, broken down into psoas and iliacus. Let's start out with the psoas muscle to begin with. If we go over here to the Earl of Bergamot skeleton here, yes, he actually does talk to us. Okay, <laughs> the origin comes off the bodies of T12 right down to L5 on the lateral side of both sides. Now, it comes down and they just actually transect this area here underneath the inguinal ligament here and inserts on the inside of the leg on the lesser trochanter. Now, if we look at the iliacus muscle, we'll see that it actually comes from this red area over here on the inside of the pelvis and it actually co-joins with the tendons of the psoas muscle and goes into the lesser trochanter. Okay, so let's see if we can palpate this and find the area on Mickey. So let's go over palpation of the iliopsoas muscle. Let's start out with the psoas aspect. So when we get down here, we want to make sure that we're using the pads of our fingers and not the ends of our fingers. It could be a very sensitive area if you push it directly in. We don't want to be doing that. And when we start working in, we kind of want to knead our way in here. So we'll just get on the outside here and start moving more towards the umbilicus. You okay there, Mickey? Oh yeah. Good. So we start moving down and a little bit deeper until we get to a more centralized area. Now, once we get here, we're going to have Mickey. She's going to take her leg and actually move it up in this direction, and I'm going to resist it a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, not quite on it. Go a little bit deeper. Good. Push up again. There we go. Now it's pushing more in my hand. Now, that tells us exactly where the psoas muscle is. For the iliacus, we want to go over to the hip. We want to curve our fingers right around the pelvis, work our way in. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Bring it in there, and again, let's have you push up against my hand. There, that, you can really feel that one. Mm -hmm. Good. So, the two muscles, the psoas and iliacus, your primary hip flexors, can easily be palpated, but we use muscle testing to find the exact location of those structures.